This is an enormously okay, famous snake. Up. This is a snake that many farmers brown. really and truly fear. An eastern brown, very, very quick off the mark. Oh. This thing, oh, an absolute nightmare. Oh in fact, this snake will inject only 12 times the volume of venom that a tiger snake would inject with a single bite. Now, this is one of the species of snakes that we milk here at the reptile park. And milking a snake is the most dangerous thing that you can do with a snake. Now, what Bill's about to do is restrain the snake. He's going to hold its head down uh, on that nice soft pillow with a thing we call a jigger. It looks a bit like mum's old potato masher if you're a big Catholic family. Now, as you can see, this snake's actually fairly serious and it's going to take two of us to control this animal. Now, mouth open, this animal is ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is see if we can get him to bite on this jar and then, if you're very lucky, we might bring the snake around and you can have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do apologise for not, <laughs> not really meant to swear on the microphone, but I'll tell you what, uh, <laughs> that, that, that almost justifies two or three other swear words, and I'm sure you know what they are. When we milk a snake like this, what we're endeavouring to get is around about five or six drops of venom. What you're looking at here is enough venom to kill roughly 20 humans, one after the other. This is the most astonishing yield for a king brown snake. Now, uh, I wasn't kidding when I said these snakes almost drown you with the volume of venom that they inject. It is absolutely astonishing. Now, <laughs> I, should have, I should have almost, actually, I know this sounds really, really weird, but um, I'm actually going to take a photograph of this yield and I'm going to email it to our boss straight away because uh, this is absolutely astonishing. I don't normally do this, but... Uh, that is, that's huge guys, this is um, really astonishing stuff, it really is. Now, in order to make anti-venom, uh, Bill and his team will do this around about 150 times every day. At the end of the day, we freeze dry all of the venom, usually it's five or six hundred drops. Uh, if they were all like this, it would be three or four hundred millilitres. Now, uh, we freeze it, we send it down to Melbourne, there they start to inject minute doses 